as a sheriff, we're going to lead with integrity and we're going to make sure that we stand on the truth. An unsafe deputy is in jail tonight, charged with domestic violence and accused of having sex on the job. New tonight, we are hearing from that deputy's boss about what he expects from his deputies. Deputy News reporter Nikkel Smith joins us now with all those details. Nikkel. Gordon, Amy, I talked with Sheriff Steve Mueller, who says while this is disappointing, deputies must live above the laws they're trying to enforce. We won't always do what's right. The Cherokee County Sheriff says when the wife of one of his deputies came to him, the right thing was to have state agents investigate. So myself and Chief Deputy, we met with her on Friday afternoon, and she provided uh, some information, some photographs that led us to believe was credible, and uh, we felt like a domestic violence incident had occurred. Mueller says Lieutenant Timothy Hill Brazier was immediately placed on suspension without pay. Took his gun, badge, credentials, his card. He says investigators with the State Law Enforcement Division came to the Sheriff's Office Monday, and Brazier was taken into custody that night. We're not going to investigate our own, uh, especially if it can be a conflict like this. SLED charged Brazier with domestic violence third degree and he was fired. A warrant states he grabbed his wife's arms from behind and threw her to the floor in January. The expectation for officers is even greater than what the law says. While he was supposed to be enforcing that law, warrants say Brazier engaged in sexual relations while on duty. He was also charged with misconduct in office. You hate it because it's a veteran officer. Brazier was with the sheriff's office almost 19 years, rising to become a lieutenant, investigating crimes like murder. The spouse and the family, they're impacted, but co-workers are impacted. And so, you know, we would ask folks to you know, pray for everyone that's involved. And uh, But again, we want our citizens to know that we're going to do the right thing. And integrity means something to us. And Bridger was granted about $15,000 bond, and the sheriff says they're going to be asking the Spartanburg County agencies to handle his ankle monitoring to help avoid any more conflicts of interest. Let's talk about that conflict of interest issue. Uh, the sheriff sent this investigation to state investigators. That's actually not at all uncommon in this kind of thing, right? Right. So in this situation, he didn't want it to have any appearances that they're giving any favoritism or handling this investigation differently mm -hmm. because he's their employee. Same reason they do it with officer-involved shootings right. in a lot of cases as well. All right, Nikkel, thank you.